and peep. So today is gonna be just a vlog of me getting going through my day. <sighs> mm. So first we're gonna start off brushing these his teeth. Double tape. <laughs> my hair, it don't move. My hair, it don't move. So today we're just gonna try to be a little bit more productive. Ooh, your eyes big. But today we're gonna try to do, be a little bit more productive. Before I go outside to walk the dog, brush my teeth, brush my face, wake me up. This is by Grace and Stella Rose Spray. It's really good, keeps my scents soft and moisturized. So, of course, I'm gonna make it bump because I just woke up. Dog. Anyways, I'm gonna go walk the dog and be back. Come on, wake boy. You ready to go, buddy? You ready to go, buddy? You ready to go, buddy, baby? You ready? Stretch it out. Hey y'all, I'm back. Walking the dog. Right now, I'm speaking to somebody on Amazon because I'm expecting my camera to come. I bought a camera on Thursday of last week. It's almost Thursday of this week. And they said to give it 48 hours. I ordered this camera last Thursday. Tomorrow is Thursday. Add those hours together. I want a refund. I said, they asked me, do you want a free replacement? I said, no. Because I've been waiting. Then you're going to take another week, probably. I ain't got time. I said a refund because this is ridiculous. All right, so they're gonna give me a refund of my money back in three to five days. So another week. I might as well just go to Best Buy or something. Close this out. Thanks. I said I'll be on the lookout for my money. I don't mean nothing else. Close that out. I better get my money. I was so excited about getting this camera to start vlogging more, blah, blah, blah. I show more of my daily routine. So now I'm on a mission to find a, another camera. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna just go to. I'm gonna just go to freaking maybe. Let me see. Best Buy. And try to go pick it up today. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been searching for another apartment because as you can see, you got all this shit. So in, oh, right now I'm in my office. We've been searching for a promise for about a month or so. 
month and a half or so. We have to be out of this apartment by June the 8th, which is okay. Give us like a, oh, excuse me, three more days, three more weeks. Look, we did apply at this other um, apartment. But I feel like they're giving us the run around, I don't know. It's really fucking with my, my, my brain, my emotions. Yes, we understand that they're rebuilding their property or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But come on now. You took our security deposit. You called and said we were approved. A week later, we get no call back talking about nothing about the next deposit. You know what? You have to do a, your application deposit and then you have to do... Then you have to do... Uh, what? Your credit report, blah, 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 that deposit. In this apartment complex, you either have to pay like 250 or 900 the lady called my husband back and said that we were approved for the 250 Amen. Send us some money. Said she's going to call back the next day. Call back. There's no answer. They give it a couple days. Blah, blah, blah. Call back. No answer. So we finally got an answer yesterday. It, yesterday was May the 4th. And my husband was like, oh. No, he decided that. He was like, oh. I spoke to someone last week. They said that we were approved. She's going to call us back to get the deposit. Nothing. So the lady puts us on hold. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, we need to check this. We need to check that. Oh, your wife didn't put this on there. Yes, I did. I did that like a week and a half ago. Don't tell me what I didn't do. Why the hell I wouldn't do it if you asked me to do it? Especially when I'm trying to move up out of this, this apartment right here. I just a lot of back and forth. So she's supposed to call back today and let us know. So if they don't want us to live over there, then that's fine. There's millions of other apartments that we can choose from. But we just like this one because it's in a good area, new environment. Rather than the one that we live in now. I'm not saying this is a bad area, but this needs something new. Because I've been living here. For five days. Five days. Five years. Five years. It's time to move. The neighbors above me are noisy. Then the neighbors below me, because I live on the second floor, are noisy. They play their music like nobody lives in, this, in the goddamn building. But then. But it's okay, Lord. Take our time. We still have time. I'm the type of person that will stress and my anxiety if I don't get an answer like, right away. I've always been like that. And my husband is the one that, it's going to be okay, honey. Calm down. Blah, blah, blah. But don't call. Don't call us saying, you called us saying that we were approved. But now that lady, she don't disappear. Some baloney. But you took our hundred, you took our deposit for the application though. <clears throat> I don't know. What they say? Pray about it. Let's make some matcha with ginger. These are little cheap packets. Got the kettle boiling. Let's wait. Just gonna tie up a lip, my living room. Somewhere. They will be light. Now oh, we got this. My husband drinks lemonade by the gallon. I think the guy's
two people right there. Every day. Let's go, Whoopi. Alright, so we're our tea. Our matcha tea. Green tea with the ginger. <sighs> Sit for a little bit. I'm gonna add this to it. This is good. Dairy free almond creamer caramel. Shake well. It only has four grams of sugar. So I try to stay away from sugar. Because, girl, I can have a sweet tooth. I need to keep all my teeth up. <laughs> I just pour it in there, like so. Alright, y'all, yeah, so we're gonna do a little moisturizing for the face because I'm looking a little kind of ashy. Oh, y'all ain't checked out the hair yet. So I recently started my dreadlock journey back in February. Before this, I was natural for about four years. So, no perms, no nothing like that, no chemicals, blah, blah, blah. So, I decided to do this dreadlocks because I got tired of comb my hair. And then my hair is kind of like, kind of thin. And then, but it tangles very easily so, over that. So, my husband and I both got dreadlocks. He started his mm, December last year. And I started mine in February this year. So far as May, so far it's going well. So we'll see. Anyways, gonna do a little moisturizing. I do use this to wake me up in the morning. Also, my own products too. Go check that out, lemon honey. So today, I'm just gonna go with my rose. This is my product too. Just gonna go in. Spray myself one time. Let's use my nose. Allergies are kicking my ass. But whose ass isn't it kicking? So I'm gonna just deal with it. Oh, and rub it in. Always rub upward. Never down. When gravity goes, brings your everything down. Always up, rotating. Get those wrinkles away. Mm -hmm. One thing about me, I like to keep my skin clean. My skin clean and clear. 
I don't wear too much makeup, as you can tell. If I do, we have to go to like an event or a party or something. But if I'm here like by myself or if I'm going out running errands, I put a little eyebrows. I'm going to let them breathe. I don't put on eyelashes or anything like that. But I do love some lengthening. Lengthening? A glitch. <laughs> but I do love mascara. Anything that lengthens the eyelashes to your... Oh, girl, you see it? You see it? Anything that lengthens the eyelashes, I'm down for it. I do wear glasses 24-7 because I am blind as a, a bat. This is my eyeglass cleaner. Spray it all over. Yeah, that's clean right there. Mm -mm -mm. And we good. Clear as again. I'm losing this for clarity. 